All right, today I will show you a quick tip on how to achieve professional lighting in Eevee. This is especially useful for product rendering, but not limited to it. So, what do we have here? We have this strange device, which is actually a smoker. It consists of very glossy parts. Uh, most parts are glossy metal and this hose is transparent plastic. It can be challenging to light such an object. Actually, it's not that hard, but you need to use custom lighting. I mean, you can't just use a pre-made HDRI image that you usually plug into the world shader, because it's impossible to find an HDRI that will fit this particular object, that will fit it 100%. I'm talking about a real high-quality professional approach, as I've seen many renderers online that are not really high level, people quite often don't understand how to light glossy objects and work with reflections. So I believe 60 to 70 of product renders of glossy objects are just garbage. They use these hard reflections, uniform reflections, it's not very appealing. So, today I will show you how to achieve beautiful lighting on glossy objects, but more importantly, I will show you how to use Eevee to render this professional lighting. This will allow you to render quicker product animations or just still shots. So, let's jump straight into it. Let's activate our cycles render and add our first light. Now, let's move our light closer to the object option wheel or alt wheel on windows. Now we have this not very vertical reflection because our light is positioned at an angle to the object. Let's switch to the direct mode to get the vertical line. Let's move our light even closer to the object to make it wrap the object as much as possible. Something like that. Let's add a horizontal gradient using the horizontal tilt slider. Now let's add our second light. Actually, I will not create a completely new light here. I will just duplicate this light. Right click, light operations, duplicate light. And uh, enter direct mode. And position it like that. Maybe make it a bit wider. Let's invert the gradient, move it a bit here, let's fill this dark spot with frontal light, move it closer, make it smaller. Let's add overall feathering and uh, decrease the brightness. Maybe decrease the brightness even more. I think it works. Now let's add our top light here. So very reflective. Uh, and uh, I don't want my lid to be lit so evenly. Let's place it like that to show hard edge around here. Let's add a vertical gradient, something about here. Maybe it's too bright, so decrease the brightness. Okay, something like that. Our last light will be positioned from behind to brighten this transparent hose from behind. Let's add a light and immediately switch to orbit mode by pressing 2. Actually, let's isolate this light to see its effect more clearly. Ok, let's make it smaller. We don't want this light to appear on the metal parts only on the hose, something like that. Okay, so 
as you can see we have our beautiful lighting it's just a four light setup but it creates this beautiful feathered effect on the glossy parts which helps create this premium feeling on the object as you probably noticed this lighting is impossible to achieve in Eevee using area lights because Eevee doesn't support light nodes so you can't create these beautiful gradients okay let's switch to Eevee as you can see it's just awful we don't have these gradients and even if we make our lights much smaller we still will have these very hard edges and and nothing similar to our initial lighting so what can we do with the latest versions of light wrangler we can bake the current light setup into a 360 hdri image and use it as a world shader instead of using separate light objects this will allow us to get similar lighting in eevee let's render this lighting setup go to the world tab and as you can see we have the hdri scene rendering menu here so we only need to choose the resolution and i think 4k will be sufficient for this type of light okay select the folder and hit render 360 hdri and just like that we have our hdri image rendered and saved Let's plug it into the world shader and see what we've got. Okay, now let's disable our lights and switch to Eevee. As you can see, we have almost 100% identical lighting in Eevee. This is our HDRI texture plugged into the world shader, allowing us to get this beautiful lighting in Eevee with no problem. Of course, we can use this HDRI to render in cycles, which should actually reduce rendering time a bit. So yeah, a pretty neat and convenient feature. If you want to use Eevee for your product shots, you can use this feature okay today that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next one guys